Echo from Tenderfoot Electronics is our 8HP digital delay module that's full of character. Delay times range from around 30 milliseconds at the fastest end, which can be extended a little bit with some CV input, down to around 2.5 seconds at the slower end. The delay has a fixed 44 kilobits of onboard memory, meaning that the longer the delay time, the lower the bitrate of the audio output. This can add more character to your audio with the slowest delay rates getting very crunchy. The result is a nice lo-fi sound to the delay trails. Looking at the panel, at the top of the module, we have the main audio input and output. Below this is the delay time, with the CV input and its attenuator right beside it. As you increase the delay time, the pitch of the audio in the feedback loop will go up. And as you make the delay time longer, you'll hear the pitch go down. This opens up the possibility of creating a chorus effect or a vibrato over whatever audio you feed into the module. Below this is the feedback control, which when turned to the left gives you a single repeat, and turned to the right gives almost infinite repeats, albeit with an eventual loss of fidelity. This can also be controlled with CV, and it has a dedicated attenuator right here. At the bottom we have the wet and dry control, with its CV input right below it, and to the left we have the send and return jacks, allowing you to patch other effects or filters into the feedback loop. As an added bonus, patching a separate audio source into just a return jack and leaving the send jack unpatched allows you to use the module as a crossfader, being controlled with the wet and dry controls. So here we've set up a simple patch and I'll just move the dials around a bit so you can hear how it sounds. So in this patch, we have the feedback turned all the way down, so there's just a single repeat. We have the wet and dry mix right in the middle, and we're modulating the delay time with an LFO just a little bit. And as you can hear, it gives you a pretty good chorus effect. If we increase the amount a bit, it gets a little bit crazy. And if we increase the feedback a little bit. So 
So here we're using the send and return, with the send going into the SVF1 filter uh, and the high pass output coming back into the return. This adds a high pass filter to the feedback loop of the echo delay. On the back of the module, there's a jumper to either add a little low pass filter to the feedback or to leave it unfiltered. The filter can take a bit of the edge off the hiss and crunch for the longer delay times. This feature is broken out into a dedicated switch on the feed expander module right here. So if we just turn the low pass filter on, you can hear that it tames that, just that slight hiss and turn it off. Now we'll go into a bit more detail on the feed module in the next video. So yeah, although Echo isn't a super clean high fidelity digital delay, uh, it makes up for that in simple playability and rich character. It'll be available in summer 2021, so keep an eye out for updates soon and thanks for watching.